today on The Real. It's an all new The Real. And words are flying as we challenge guest host Nene Leakes to a round of Shout Rages. Whoa, let's go, let's do it. Then on Girl Chat, Jeannie shows us how to shake what her mama didn't give you. It doesn't move, but I can twerk. Let me see. Oh, oh, oh. And Nene catches Lonnie out on a date. Ooh. Okay, who is this man? She was like, Lonnie. <laughs> oh! And actor Justin Cornwall is here. with you. How has it been for you? <laughs> I had no idea that I was going to come here and be in love with you. Oh, oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh my God. I, you guys are so great. You're like my little sisters. I sure oh, appreciate thank it. You. No. Thanks for all the love. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, thank you guys. We, we had a lot we, of fun. Oh, yeah, really here it. Did. And you have so much wisdom and insight. And I just oh, love, you. you know, of course, everybody gets to know you a certain way, but when you yeah. really get to meet Nini and see all of the experience yes. and That's right. um, wise words that you have and so oh, much man. love, thank like you, so you are so such so a cool kind. person. She is. Yeah. So Seriously, kind. thank you. She's super thoughtful. Yes, super. And Very I love. helpful. You've been so helpful to yes. me. Yes. So oh, it's insane. And I love the way you smell, Nini. Oh, oh thank my you. God. Yes. Yeah. You know, I always you try to smell good, good yeah. honey. Fine. Yes, I know good smell. And with that said, let's get back into some girl We've talked about this before, but congratulations are in order, <sighs> as well because your son Brent just turned 18. Yes! yes. Thank you. Congratulations. Oh my God. <laughs> Oh my God. Oh my goodness, yes, he just oh, turned crazy. 18 years old. He's a 12th grader. He's a senior in high school. Oh. And uh, I'm so proud of Brent. I love yeah. Oh my God. Very yeah. handsome. He's a good boy. Yes. So, to celebrate, you and your husband, Greg, decided to surprise him with a brand new Jeep? Yeah. <laughs> Wait, tell us about it. Oh my God. To get him a Jeep. <laughs> Like it. No, he's oh my goodness. Was he well, excited? Well, he was so excited. Down? The rules in our house have always been you get a car when you graduate from high school. Yeah. I know a lot of parents give their kids cars for their sweet 16. Mm, right. But we never wanted to do that. I didn't get a car when I was 16. I got my car at graduation. So he's always known that he's getting a car for graduation. Yeah. Well, honey, we are tired of paying for Uber, child. <laughs> <laughs> That's real. I mean, he I is that. riding Uber to and from school. He's yeah. a golfer. He loves to go and golf all the time. He's taking Uber. And so Greg and I decided that Britton knows he's getting the car for graduation, which is in a few months. Let's fool him and give him the car for his 18th. Oh, Let me tell you guys, he cried for 30 minutes. Oh. Yes, he was so humble. I was really proud. He oh, was. He looked amazing. out. We tricked him. We were on the third floor golfing, mm -hmm. and I, and his dad wasn't there, and we were singing Happy Birthday. So we sung Happy Birthday, and I said, Brent, Mom, and Dad are so proud of you. Yeah. And if you want your birthday gift, you have to look out the window. And he looked out the window to look down into the parking lot. His dad was out there going. Oh. <laughs> Then we had to get downstairs where the car was. Yeah. Once we got down there, he met up with his dad, and his dad was crying. I was like, child, this ain't no better. <laughs> no, 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 I love it. Why do you think yeah. Greg was crying? What does that mean well, for Well, he dad? knew that Britt would be, Britt really wanted this car. Yeah. And we're proud of him. He hasn't done anything. You know, he's a normal kid. He hasn't been yeah. in any trouble. So we're really proud of him. We wanted to reward him. That's that is amazing. I love that. I love that. His dad is emotional, though. Greg cries all the time, too. Really? And I'm like, well, honey, I mean, are you going to be crying? I mean, 
<laughs> can I cry? I like men like that. I, you know, I can't cry for them crying. <laughs> I, I'm the only girl in my house and my guys cry. Oh, really? I can't take it. It's, I'm so old. <laughs> Come it's on, lady. So sensitive, dude. Yeah. yeah, but you got a sensitive side to you, too. Well, I do, but you know what I'm saying. These guys crying. It's a problem. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, I wanted to know if you can give me some advice. My son yes. is four, and yes. I would love for him to stay four. Aww. But what would you say is the greatest thing that you have learned in raising uh, yeah. a young man. He's well, I, I can tell you right now. Okay. A lot of moms like you, you, young moms, you drop your kids off to school and you always hug and kiss them. You're so cute. You're going there. You'll be your queen. Yes. Mm -hmm. Mommy that. love you. Your life will be waiting That's for her. you. Yeah, and that's then, me. you know, as the kids get older, we forget that they need just as much love as they did when they were young. Got so it. when they become teenagers, you really got to hug them. You really got to kiss them. And you really got to say, Mommy love you. I love oh. that. Love Even that. if they don't want yeah, it. I love always. that. They Thank you. Thank you. Great mom. Continue to hug him and tell him you love him. Did you have the talk with it, him or did Greg give the talk? The bedroom, the sex talk, yes. my husband did. Now, I wanted to give the talk. Uh -oh. They were like, no, oh, not you, not you, not you. <laughs> Why? Why? Mom, not you, not you. And I kept saying, Greg, when are you going to do it? Now, Greg was easing into it really, so I was on his case. I said, please talk to Brent about sex. You've got to talk to him. Yes. And he was like, I'm going to talk to him. You don't know what we talk about when we're riding in the car together. <laughs> right, right. And I was like, listen, do you want me to have this conversation? Because if I have it's going to be so blunt and so real. <laughs> <laughs> they, they were scared. Oh, my God. They were God. like, please don't let her tell us about that. <laughs> you were going to scare them into abstinence. Yes. You are so busy. I mean, you're always you. out at, like, fabulous uh, events. You're yes. traveling. You're working nonstop. Always. Now, I heard that you saw something very interesting recently when you were out. Pray <laughs> tell, friend. <laughs> um... Are we speaking of Lonnie? Yes. I oh, mean, oh, 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 you kind of Lonnie. Yes. Kind of. Wait, it was at Lonnie. You saw Lonnie where? 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 Right now. Why? But I'm not gonna tell y'all the location. Okay. However, what I happened? saw Lonnie out with a date. <laughs> yes, Lonnie. I forgot all about this. <laughs> Let me just tell you something. So I saw her, you know, and, and you know, she was feeling good and she was hey. <laughs> <laughs> me, my boyfriend. <laughs> and I was like, okay, Lonnie, who is this? And she looked at me, she did not give me an answer. This is what she did. <laughs> <laughs> what did you do? What did you do? I busted I busted out. So hey, you said, hey, okay. I said, so, hey, girl, who Lonnie, is this? Yeah, this was a scene. We were on a scene. We can't tell you the location. Yeah, okay. okay. It was an event. This it is was so okay. juicy. Oh my God. Okay, I'm so I'm like, honey, okay, who is this man? She was like, honey. <laughs> oh! I was like, Lonnie. And she was just, uh, uh. You were dancing? She was feeling cute. She was feeling cute. Was feeling cute. cute. Nini, and we, look. we've never seen a picture <laughs> yes. of one of her dates. And no, well, honey. Was, was, he, was, he, was he handsome? He was handsome. That's why I was asking her, like, That's all my date is handsome. I'll date three That's why I was like, Lonnie, I mean, what's going on right here, Lonnie? She was like, honey, don't you worry about what. <laughs> <laughs> she was dancing? She was having the best time. She had a good time. And guess he what? Was she was dancing, too? His... He was. He was having a good time, too. But she told me that she's going to be seeing him again. Yes. <gasps> Lonnie, what is going on here? He have... doesn't stay here. He lives out of state. But I have a, um, I have a comedy show coming up. <laughs> oh, good <this> plug. <laughs> I can't. Where? Where? It's March the 3rd, so if you want to see him, he'll be there March the 3rd. Yeah. Yeah. We just yeah. come to New Orleans just to see him. We just come to New Orleans. 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 We She's actually really smart. Of yes, course. Yes, because yes. I actually think that is a really smart thing to do, that unless the person is serious and something that you actually want to be like, hey, yeah. everybody. Right. Yeah. Like, that is the way to do because it. Because they've been yeah. trying. You know, Nene, they've been trying. They, oh, OK, Why we're going to have husbands week. I'm like, bring the husbands. You know, I'm fine with being over here and hosting you yeah. and your husbands and things, but they just they can't wait. But one day, I'm going to surprise them when they, when they least expect it. Yes. But you got to keep watching the show. Oh, my god. <laughs> Hey, my pants.
Me too. I'll be in my pants, yeah. Lonnie. Well, I forgot so all about that, well, though. Don't tell you something like, Man, Lonnie is a player, that. honey. I want you to know. Yeah, well, you know guess what? what, Lonnie? This is called The Real and the Streets Are Watching. <laughs> Got you. <laughs> All right. So speaking of super hot news, <laughs> the Oscars are this Sunday, and the yes. must-have accessory, you know I love fashion accessories, for celebrities on the red carpet this year are reportedly butt pads. Ooh. Oh, my, oh my yes. gosh. Get this, ladies. The trend has been gaining traction since actress Kristen Bell Instagrammed the butt pads she wore to the Golden Globes. We actually talked yes. about this when I interviewed her, uh -huh. and I love how open she is about yeah. it. Fashion expert George Katsiopoulos even said the butt is the new it body part. Oh my it God. used to be an insult to say someone had a big fat butt, and now it's a huge compliment. Give it up for the butt. Man. It was never, it was yeah. never rude in the hood. In the hood, it was always a compliment. Let them know. Mm -hmm. I love that. So I want to know, do you ladies, I mean, I know because I see you front side, back to back, mm -hmm. everything, but do you ever feel like you need a little assistance? Ah, <laughs> please. I think that's, well, look. You, you talking know, I, to the wrong table yeah, right I, here. Know. I work on, a, you know, on another fashion you show. You had a good one. We were talking about it. And we always it. talk about, you know, undergarments. I think when you're doing something like the Oscars or the Golden Globes, you need to have on proper undergarments. Yes, yes. However, that is true. the booty pad garment, to me, if you want to use it, to me, it mm -hmm. only looks great on a very tiny person like yourself. Somebody uh, that's already got something going on back there and you want to add to it, you look funny. <laughs> but if you got some no reels butt gonna move, at all, some reels going to move right and back. something's not. Yeah. But okay. if you ain't got no booty, you can work it out. Right. Yeah, I'm low key. I agree. Yeah. I agree. That's a good set. It's real. Now, Lonnie I'm, can't wear that. I'm kind of mad. Uh -uh, I look like I got on a butt pad. No, yeah, you do. You look like you got Sitting on a butt pad. Sitting right on your back. Okay. <laughs> I'm kind of mad at Kristen Bell, though. Why? Why is she going to let all the secrets out? Like, I think that a lot of people, a lot of people that I know actually wear butt pads. Really? Yes, they do. And she's, really? she's now putting it on blast. Yeah, a lot of people, a lot of music videos you watch, folks, people's <gasps> hips are padded, people's butts are padded. I don't know why they won't hear Don't be fooled. Yes. With that being said, remember I was going to go to that really special event, and yes. I was like, ooh, I want my booty to look bigger. So you guys, Kristen had on the Styrofoam one. Yes. There are actually silicone butt pads that you can get. So that just in case somebody go to slap the booty, you know when your girlfriends be like, oh, girl, your butt looks good in that. Bam, then you don't want them to feel what she had on. You get the silicone one. Ooh. Well, I tried it on, right? You guys remember? Yes. yes. One, nobody noticed. You guys didn't even notice. And Ray and them were saying that it actually made my butt look flatter because it almost like it the, the, the good stuff. Yeah, have. it has yeah. like a suction panty that goes on with the butt pads. So it actually flattened my butt See, and then it didn't really it do didn't it. That's right. why I don't like the silicone ones. Why? Because oh. the silicone ones, they press into your natural body shape. Yeah. So it enhances its own shape, which actually the silicone, it doesn't give you that bump you need. Mm -hmm. I like I like a good little foam moment. Look at Tamara. Yeah, like, I'm trying to figure out, wait, yes. do you have butt pants? Uh-huh. I sure do. <laughs> yes, I do. You guys, let's be honest. No, so much. I, I am a booty could never be big enough. I'm surrounded by such ushy-gushy goodness yeah, at this I table. I love my butt. You know, you have a great one. I don't need those But pads. I've always been built Either. like, you know, I'm, I'm thick as a stick. You know what I mean? So I, I really do call upon fashion to help me where I need. So I carry around three butt pads just to help me for every occasion. What you want to see them? What kind? Yes. Okay. I can't wait to see I want to see. Okay. I like the ones that have the holes that hold it up. You have that kind? Oh, that's the butt bra. No. I this like is my Gigi. Bra. I call her Gigi because she just gives me a little bit where I need it. Where but how? Where Where is that? That? That's it's a like spec. Underwear. It's like a butt bra. It has such strong elastic that it, it takes everything from the thigh. Oh, it's almost yeah. like a wonder bra where it takes all the fat and meat from the backside, everything, yeah. and goes whoop. Ooh, like that. Yes. Yeah, okay. okay. What's this, the next one? This is my J-Lo. I like that. Yes, that's a good one. Let me that, see that. This good. is a great one. This is let what me... I use often. This is my good red carpet Really? Trait. Is that what I be hitting on? Uh, <laughs> let me see that. Right? Crazy. It's okay. I like this. It feels and very good. And I got smooth. one more. This is good. I named this one after... <laughs> I named this one after who I think has the best butt in the biz. My Lonnie. Oh! oh. Good. This, this is my money maker. No, yeah, but if somebody touches that. No, this, this is firm. That's no, Lonnie at it, 23. Like, that's like, not Lonnie at 40. 
Lonnie, this gives me, I, I get to feel what, it, you know how they tell you you don't know a woman till you walk in her heels? Oh, I feel exactly what it's like to be Lonnie Love when I wear wow. her. Wow. You see? Oh, really? That's amazing. amazing. Yes. It's we want so to good. I got a lot I more. Can't with okay. That's very can't. firm. Oh, you so guys, you, like that. you don't I believe like it. I the silicone ones don't can't. give as much of a dramatic Please. effect. They actually look like, you guys know the cutlets that we used to put in our bras? Like, from, yeah. you know, you can get those cutlets. Right. It looks Ooh, like yeah. a big booty cutlet. Wait, Nene, why are you acting like you don't believe me? But I do believe you. I just don't know what you do when you get home and I take off your clothes see. in front of your I'm going to show you. Different. Watch. Drop okay, your booty on the floor. You. Watch. OK, you guys want to see how this looks? Yeah, let's see. Let's see. OK. Let see. And I'm putting myself out there because, like yeah. Kristen Thank Bell, you. sometimes when you just own the yeah. truth, like, I, you know, my mom is mama my. She pointed out everything Let's about see, me that was so that I knew. Let me see how flat it is right now. Okay, this right. is my before. Hi, I'm still cute. <laughs> you cute. <laughs> okay. Side. Let's see the side view. That's okay, my before. there we go. Oh, it's so sad. No, it's fine. <laughs> but it's Hold cute. your skirt down so we can really Yeah, see. we need right. to see the shape. Okay, there you go. Turn to the side. Turn Don't to the side. Don't try to poke it out. Okay, okay. now, okay, okay. now. Put, okay. put Lani on. Okay, put I'm going to put, put, put Lani on. Give me a second. Okay. Lord, I can't <laughs> take it. <laughs> All right, so the time has come, folks. Who is ready to see Jeannie's new behind? <laughs> well, come on out, girl. Shake what your mama did give you. Jeannie to Janae. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and, and you guys, the best part, it doesn't move, but I can twerk. Let me see. Oh, 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 you got to get the one with the butt cleave. But you see, why that's does the it secret. feel to sit see on that, See that right there, that butt cleave? No, you see it? that's yeah, you what had it looked crack. Like. It looked... Can you I some butt I'm, crack? If I'm honest, that's what I was really looking at, because the butt crack is great on that yes, butt pad. Yes, yeah. It, it looks really, really real. Thank butt cleavage. It made me, oh my gosh. <gasps> oh my it's God. It's nice. nice. How does it, it feel to sit I would, on it does feel padding. one? How does it oh, feel? It's amazing. It's so, it's, it's it, like it, a it pillow? Feels, yes, like I wear this to long baseball games. Oh, man, it's a little or hard. Like, you, have you ever gone to a concert and you don't want to pay for the seats, so you get the cheap seats on the yeah. lawn? Wear a butt pad and you're done. <laughs> That's an extra cushion for your tension. Yes. You save money and you look good. Well, that sounds crazy uh -huh. to me, so I'm going to go on the lawn and bring my actual seat with me, child. Yes. <laughs> my it's, seat extra it's extra cushy for your tushy. Let's give I a guess. round of applause I for Jeannie like doing that. Thank you, Jeannie, for keeping it real. A lot of women would not be honest about that, but I love that you keep it so real. Yes. Speaking of, of keeping things real <laughs> or keeping things natural, something <laughs> many women acquire in life, whether they like it or not, may actually be stretch marks. Oh, That's something, yeah. we're gonna keep it real, we're gonna keep it real. Yeah, a lot yeah. of women have stretch marks. You can actually get them from having a baby or simply just entering womanhood. Or if you lose weight or gain weight. Yeah. Well, folks, okay. Kim Kardashian West wasn't really feeling hers, so she took to Snapchat to let her fans know that she went to her dermatologist to actually have them removed. Mm. Yeah. However, many women out there feel like stretch marks are a badge of honor and they wear them proudly. Clearly, so does our audience. Yeah. yeah. So, Nene, how do you feel about stretch marks? Well, I'm, I'm a mom of two. I don't have any stretch marks. Yeah. My mom had five children and didn't get any stretch marks. They say oh, wow. hereditary. So, yeah, oh, I feel like yeah. it's more hereditary. Cool. Yeah. But I'm the kind of girl, you know, if I had them and I wanted to, I would wear them proudly. I'm also the kind of girl that's for all about whatever makes you feel great. Yeah. Yep. So if Kim wants to have them removed, that's going to make her feel great about herself. I'm here for that. Too. Absolutely. Yeah. 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 I, agree with that. I believe in that. Yeah. And if I'm honest, I went through that as well. I didn't have stretch marks before. Um, my mom has stretch marks um, after having twins, yeah. and she showed us 
uh, at a very young age what it looked like yeah. um, after you had a baby. So I was very prone to get them after I had my kids. And mm -hmm. yes, I, I got them and a little bit more, uh, like the loose skin, um, the kind of like uh, poofy little belly right here. Um, and it took me a while to own that. Mm -hmm. So um, I wouldn't be honest with myself if I didn't want to fix anything. Mm -hmm. However, the more and more I wait to fix those things, the more I'm actually embracing them. Mm -hmm. Because it's true. Because in all actuality, this right here, this was a warm, safe place for my two amazing, beautiful children. Yeah. Yeah. That's very good. That's you know? Because in the end, I mean, everybody is not fortunate enough to be able to have surgery to remove stuff. Yeah. And that's the yeah. thing about our show is that we want women to be comfortable. If you can and you want to remove it, fine. If not, get you some cocoa butter and try to keep rubbing away. It and, works. You know, it works. things it like does. that. Yeah. You know? Yeah. A little bit. Deal with yeah. it. That's I it. love that. Sure. Embracing sure. yourself. But if you want to fix it, fix it. If you <laughs> don't, you don't. You're beautiful <laughs> either <laughs> way. And I love that. Yeah. Yeah. Beautiful when you're happy. Yeah. Yeah. It's time for some more girl chat. Parents of students at Archbishop Ryan High School in Philadelphia are up in arms over the school's new prom policy. Due to the school's strict dress code, female students have to email the school a picture of themselves wearing their dress for approval before they can buy a ticket. Wow. This is unbelievable. I know, right? Well, here's an example yeah. of a dress the school actually denied. Really? So they thought that was too sexy. Girl, I know. Thank God I ain't I in high school. All right. <laughs> I'm saying. And it's here's an example of a dress where the neckline had to be adjusted. That's ridiculous. Right? Wow. Parents are concerned with what officials are doing with their daughter's pictures after inspection. However, school officials insist they are immediately deleted after review. So, do you ladies think this policy is appropriate? I guess no. I wouldn't be going to prom. Me either. That's they, so they barely terrible. let me in this dress at that prom. Right. That is right. terrible. You know, the whole point of going to prom and picking out your dress and all that is for memories. Yes. And so girls wait. They can't wait to become yes. juniors and yeah. seniors so that you can go pick out your prom yes. dress with your mom, get your hair and nails done, and you're picking out the dress that you love. These yes. are your memories. Yeah. I think that's terrible to have your dress. You have to get approval from your parents and from the people at the school. I yeah. agree with you. There's there's certain moments in parents and child life mm -hmm. where you guys bond together doing it. Yes. Like picking out your first bra where your mom takes you bra shopping for yeah. men. It's like putting on the tie on a man, you know, teaching him how to tie it. And you take away that magic that a parent can have with that daughter. Because a lot of times in high school, that's when you're insecure about certain body parts. Yes. Believe it or not, as much as we praise great breasts. Mm -hmm. In high school, it's really hard for a woman to be busty. Um, for yeah. me, I had chicken legs and I wasn't, I didn't like my skinny legs, but it was Mama yeah. Mai who'd look at them and say, mm -hmm. your chicken leg, it look nice. Good. You know? Yeah. No, seriously. So if I, my mom had me wear a short dress to my prom mm -hmm. and if, and she always, I always showed off my legs to prom. If I went to the school because I finally owned the, the prom, <laughs> my legs, yes. <yeah. laughs> And that's actually, that was the senior ball. There was a prom where I wore a black and white dress that was short. I'll post that on Instagram. Mm -hmm. But if she celebrated my leg and got me to be like, thanks, mom, you gave me these legs and I feel good. And then I went to the school and the school said, no, you look too sexy, cover those legs. I would struggle with more of that insecurity. I yeah. had chicken I'm sorry, legs I don't too. think this dress would be yeah, approved. You thing. did? I, I had chicken legs. Have, but, well, that, it's a, let, it's that, the, the skirt is underneath is too short, they would okay, say. Okay, let's remember that these are young ladies. Number True. one, and they looked at 600, I believe mm -hmm. 600 and so dresses. They only denied eight. Eight out of them. So, but what I but think what is, number one, yeah. I don't think it was fair that they did it to just the girls. They should have mm -hmm. also said, well, we need to look at the boys. I love that. I love that. You know, that's not, yeah. you know, right. And I, I don't think that they should have had them to send pictures. I think they just should have sent a letter to the parents and say, can it be a little more appropriate? Because some, some people do. I mean, they do yes, wear them dresses. Dresses that but I've it's seen okay. on I've I just, been a little... It slid up I, there. I agree okay. with you, Lonnie. I think it's the parents' responsibility. Yeah. I think when you have too many chefs yeah. in the kitchen, yeah. Yeah. things can get confused. And you all know, I dress very conservatively. I don't see actually anything wrong with oh. those dresses, honestly. And that's me coming either. from me. Maybe if Miss Darlene was looking at the green dress, mm -hmm. there is that little V that kind of comes, you know, a little bit close to the behind. Right. But however, me as a mom looking at, at those dresses, if I'm honest, I don't, I don't actually see anything wrong with those. But I don't think the school was doing it 
um, I think they were trying to help. And sometimes yes. when we're trying to help, we need to have further conversations of yes. why this mm -hmm. stuff is happening yeah. instead of just, you know, okay, this is what we got to do. Agreed. Say why. Agreed. <laughs> and since my girl Nene is known to get a little feisty, why not play our loud mouth game with her? Game face is on, y'all, because it's time to play Shout Rageous. <laughs> Well, you know we love a little friendly competition, so let's get right to it. Jeannie and Nini, you guys are taking on Lonnie, me, and Adrian. Ah. I feel very sorry oh, for really? you guys. It's like that, we got this. We'll okay. play one round in the Shout Rageous app, and whichever team scores the most points will be crowned today's winner and score a prize for our audience. <laughs> You have 30 seconds to guess as many items as you can from the topic. What is the topic, Adrian? The topic is things you might find in Lonnie's purse. We got purse. this. Oh, okay. that's easy. Oh. And let's go. Okay. Let's do it, let's do it. Go. A Condom. tampon. Condoms, guys, yes. phone numbers. Lip gloss. Bacon, brown Eyelashes. liquor. Uh, um, oh, brown yes. lip. Yes, yes, uh, <laughs> um, panties, an extra change of clothing. Uh, glue, glue for her um, wig. Yes, uh, um, Fred. Um, a notebook um, so she can remember all the guys she dates. Um, her nope. cell phone. Um, a a money, Tylenol. Credit card. A diet pill. Oh my God. A milkshake. Wait. Uh, a smoothie. Uh, a no. candy bar. Who do I love? Idris, a picture of Idris. Oh, Idris. Uh, Idris. Why are you helping that? Um, a wallet. Coin purse. A uh, hundred dollars. Uh, uh, Time's up. Uh, You said condoms, but that wasn't on here. What you did get was bacon, flask of brown liquor, Idris photo album. What you missed was lube. Ooh, that's in your purse. Copy of the Constitution. She really does have that. A copy of the Constitution <laughs> in her purse. Handcuffs, a hair clip. Handcuffs. Baby wipes. <laughs> keys to Tamara's house. <laughs> and candy to bribe Aiden. Yeah. yeah. She does. Yeah. Do you accept these answers? Do you accept these answers? Yeah. Not really, but okay. <laughs> you have no choice. All right, you got a total of 20 points. That's not bad. That's good, actually. That's so good. Okay. okay. All right. Our turn. Okay. All right, Nini, we got this. Okay, are you ready? Yes. What's All our right. topic? You guys, this is so shady, y'all. <laughs> this is name <laughs> Jeannie's annoying morning habits. Eat, oh, I'm ready. Go. Yeah. Eating chia seeds. Singing. Flax oh. seeds. Yelling. Eating savory, yelling, screaming, savory jumping. Savory foods. On the phone. Uh, singing. What, talking. What are these called? Loudly. Loud. Doing a fitting. Laughing. Laughing loudly. Laughing on your door. Texting. Um, Talking Not about Freddie. Talking anything. on the phone with Freddie. Busy body. Meeting, meeting, with with me, meeting with her assistant. Eating chia You run up a hill. You run up a hill. You exercise. Talking you poop. Too much. You drink you water. You drink. you drink tons of you water. water. Yeah. You go number two. Yeah. Yep, yeah. she goes number two. Number I said two. she poops. Every morning. What else does she do? You drink a lot of water. We did I can't believe how rude my friends are. What? Okay, you got singing. Okay. You got on her phone not paying attention. Yep. Announces bathroom situation. It's yep. important to be regular, yep. schmegular yep. people. Yep. And eating chia seeds. Yep. What you didn't get. Okay, fine. Was my loud music. I said, I said that. that. I said that. I said that. I said that. I said that. Yeah. Damn it. it. My room it. is right by okay. yours, Jeannie. I Talking know. Talking loud and fast. We said that. 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 We said that. We said that. Talking loud and fast. Talking loud and fast. Lots of hugs. No. No. We said Dancing in the hallway. We said dancing. I didn't say in the hallway, but I said dancing. I am losing three friends today. <laughs> no. Nope. Are you sure they have points? Eating stinky foods <laughs> and my collection of onesies. <laughs> no. I said, we oh, get, oh, no, we didn't get that one. Damn. That. I love it. Tell me what my point is. Oh my God. What do we get? Come on, take Come that on, L. 35. <gasps> Woo! A young, idealistic police officer who's been tapped to go undercover and investigate Bill Paxson's character on the hit new show, Training Day. Please welcome Justin Cornwell. So tall. Oh, yeah. yeah. It's and good. 
show. We are oh so excited God. to have you. How's it going, guys? How's it going? We're going yeah. great. You just came out here like the star that I you know. are. Yeah. How you guys doing? <laughs> now, what I love is that you're not just an actor. You're actually an amazing singer, songwriter, producer, because the song we just heard was fire. And you guys, he wrote that song and produced it. Yeah. Yeah. That's good. That's good. Just heard. Oh, well, that song, I Need Your Love, I actually wrote that up. We were filming Training Day one weekend, and uh, I like to kind of break out. You know, if you're doing a lot of one type of thing, I yeah, kind of yeah. like, you know, kind of... Switch it up. Switch you know, it up. switch it up. So one weekend, I said, you know, let me get down on the keyboard. I got my little, you know, kind of recording station, so I just got you down on... You play? The... I play a little bit. Uh, <laughs> you know, yeah. I play enough to produce the music. Yeah, you know? it sounds okay. amazing. It has a refreshing sound, that nice funk, nice that old beat. jazz. I love it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes, so, so good. when did you start singing? Uh, I think I started singing, wow, God, maybe 10, 11. Oh, wow. Around the same wow. time I started acting, it really all kind of started at the same time. Okay. Mm -hmm. I'm a that. singer, too. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, break it down. Right. Right. That was good. Yeah, I can sing a little bit now. Okay. But, uh, you know, were you the type of kid that sat in the house all day and watched movies because you wanted to be an actor? I, I was that kind of kid. I think it was, you know, I actually... <laughs> <laughs> my grandparents owned a video store, and now it wasn't, you know, a legitimate video store. It was kind of a hood video store. But, it, you know, it was one of those kind of things where I got to sit around every single day and watch every single movie I wanted That's to watch. Awesome. Oh, wow. Yes. Yeah. Awesome. That's paid right. off. I know. <laughs> now, just recently, you presented um, an award to Tom Hanks uh, yes. at the People's I, Choice yes. Awards with your co-host, Bill Paxton. Mm -hmm. But is it true that that wasn't supposed to happen that way? It was, it was not supposed to happen. That way. Really? What happened, and this is crazy, because I went out uh, with the People's Choice Awards with Bill, and he was like, hey, you know, come to Red Carpet. We can, you know, mm -hmm. do the Red Carpet and promote wow. Training Day, promote yeah. our show. Yeah. And so then I said, great. And he goes, hey, man, when I present, just come back here with me. I might, you know, go back to the back, and they have refreshments back there. Just come back here to the back with me. That is so nice of yeah. him. Bill's the nicest person in Hollywood, guys. Oh, yeah. that's that is guy. so awesome. Uh, great great actor. Yeah. Yeah. Like that. Yeah. So then how did this happen? And so uh, I'm sitting backstage, and uh, he's supposed to present with Kate Beckinsale, and then the person comes, oh, she's no-show. She's a no-show. And Bill, he's like, hey, well, we can't, you know, he has to go on with me. He's, I'm, Justin's right here. Oh, my God, and so, he's so cool. And so we just said, we just said, gave me his lines, I went up and did it. Oh, yeah. wow. That's that awesome. is awesome, That's Bill. I love people yeah. like that. I know, that was so cool. Now, you and Bill Paxton in training day, you guys hit the streets of L.A., and yeah. you solve crimes. So in order to prepare for your role, did you guys, like, do anything with real police? We did. You know, um, Bill actually had uh, kind of an end with, uh, with the Newton Division um, Police Department oh, wow. we, uh, with a police officer named Bob Deemer. Mm -hmm. And so we all went out with Bob, and we went out in, like, South Central and went, like, you know, went, wow. went cruising, Ooh. and we ran up on some of some crazy people. No, what, were you like scared? What? I, I was kind of <laughs> scared. Like, we was running through an alley, and, you know, all of a sudden people scattered. <laughs> And I was like, oh, snap. Then... <laughs> You're like, yo, no, this is real life. And he was crazy, too. He was like, hey, Bill, Justin, get out of the car, man. Let's meet these crackheads. This is great. Oh, <laughs> oh my God. God. You guys may have noticed photos on our social media pages of us looking all dolled up with clever captions to match. Have you guys seen those? Yeah. <laughs> I yeah. love those. So well, there is a vault of photos that we just don't really know what to do with. So this is your chance to step up and help us out. It's time to... Meme this. I love it. I love this. Okay, we posted some of the photos on thereal.com and we asked you guys to come help us with perfect memes. So the first photo is of us right before the show. Oh my God, God. I remember now, this Now, day. I know you're probably wondering, what the heck is going on? <laughs> you guys, what were we doing? We I, were I clearly to, was You were dancing. celebrating that you were last, I think. Right. I'm not oh, yeah. yeah. I wasn't so you were doing was your last. crazy dance. Uh -huh. Lonnie was laughing at you. <laughs> yep. Jeannie wished she was first. Yes, right? I was mad. Was. And then I'm just looking at y'all like y'all crazy. <laughs> Correct. Oh, with a smile on my face. Yep. <laughs> I, like I think that's what happened. Yeah. Well, Jasmine Sotu came up with this hilarious meme. When there's an awkward silence in the squad's car, then your jam comes on. <laughs> I like that. That's cute. I that like that. Dope. But why am I almost cross-eyed? Like... <laughs> and then Jamila Young created this amazing one. It says, then I just add a bit of salt and <laughs> pepper like this. Like oh, this. My God. <laughs> like this. Like this. I like that. That's oh, and lastly, Nikki Price thought of this meme when the two of y'all got your taxes and the other two still was waiting for you. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's my 
Any other ones? Yes, babe, we do. Okay, Nini, we also posted this photo of Adrian striking a bomb pose at the NAACP Image Awards on the red carpet. <laughs> yes, Adrian, let me see. Adrian, hey. like, yo, why am I ruining the shot with my photo bomb? Oh. Oh, oh my God! What are you doing, Jeannie? Uh, what am I you making? Oh my God! I'm so and I was so mad because I was like, "Dang, you know, you ruined your friend's photo." And I think what I was doing is I was yelling at the reporter to get out of the way so her husband could shoot the picture. Well, you ended up in the way. Yeah, I know. that works. Well, Damn. you know, but Jeannie Fatima Razo had a suggestion. She said, "Fatima said, when your bestie tells you your ex is coming, act natural." <laughs> oh, that is so. That is a good one. Yeah. Uh -huh. And Tracy Sikai had some thoughts as well. Tracy said in Mama My voice, I'm not gut all day, hurry up. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. You guys, this is so awesome. Thank you all for submitting your memes, helping us out, and giving us a good giggle. <laughs>